we're cruising the Everglades in style. Well, the only style in the Everglades, really. That is, by Swamp Buggy or Airboat, they've been described as a big ski with a huge propeller driven by an airplane engine. The Everglades, of course, are America's favorite swamp. A hundred miles of mangroves, gators, and slowly moving water. It is moving, even though it doesn't look like it is. This, as the book says, is a river of grass. Grass and gators. Today, we'll cross the swamp to try alligator, the cooked kind. I'm becoming a fan of gator, I tell you. It's good stuff. That's really good. You like that? It's also the most tender I've had. We'll also visit an alligator farm where they're raising the reptile for harvest. Consider these guys as future gator nuggets. And while we're in this stretch of southern Florida, we'll see how they harvest stone crab claws. You know, those very expensive and succulent claws. That's paradise right there. I like that. <laughs> And we'll explain what he's doing to that log. This to me is just fascinating. Here's a hint. He's making swamp cabbage. Did that help? First thing though, let's meet a gator or two. Or in this case, 1,500 of them. We're at the Everglades Alligator Farm in Homestead. This is the breeding stock for the farm. The guy tossing chicken next to the reptiles is Robert Freer. So Robert, uh, what are the rules for walking among the herd? Don't get too close. Go with plenty of food and uh, watch where you step. <laughs> Robert will be with us again later, but first, let's do some cooking. This is Everglades City, Florida, a place where the architecture reminds us that hurricanes are as certain here as alligators, swamp, and great sunsets. Next stop, the Oyster House Restaurant and owner Bob Miller Jr. Back to the swamp buggy. We're moving on. Later, we'll grab some alligator chowder and check out a local favorite stone crab claws. We'll also hear more from our gator wrangler. Worst bite was on this arm here is actually a uh, crocodile and that you can see where top jaw caught me here from the scars and little bites underneath from the lower jaw actually broke the arm. Normally when they're catching prey they bite down on it the prey struggles and that and that's when they roll or spin and they either get the whole prey or they rip off pieces to eat. Our band today is the group Shack Daddies. The little red rooster in me. Look on with your bad friend. Welcome back to Food Nation and the Florida Everglades. Today we're tracking alligators. Remember our alligator farmer? Here's his advice for the next time you get bitten by an alligator. If you're bitten by an alligator, the first thing to remember is that the brain is very small. They react by instinct and reflex. Stay as calm as you can. If it starts to move, move with him. He thinks he has just a piece of meat in his mouth. And after just a few seconds, he'll open his mouth, throw that back to the throat to swallow. And that's when you get out of there. You need to know that they usually harvest these critters at six years of age. The meat gets tougher after that. And you need to know that a six-year-old alligator only yields 20 pounds of good meat, mostly from the tail. So a little gator goes a long way, like in a chowder. We promise some of that later. But first, it's not all about alligator around here. It's also about stone crab claws. This part of the country is where you'll find the boats that harvest the stone crabs. You know the trick. They only take the claws. The crabs, clever devils, will regrow them. They come here to more stone crabs just about every day in season. They're offloaded and processed. That process takes these crab claws from raw to cooked, from gray to pink, in about 10 minutes. The claws are boiled for eight minutes, then shocked with an ice bath to stop the cooking. That's paradise right there. I like that. <laughs> We're not done yet. Stone crab claws are not all the same size not the same quality. So they have to be weighed, sized, sorted, and given a little test. 3.6 is a little large. Oh, a colossal seven. Is that a colossal? No. Set it on the scale. If it's over seven ounces, it is. That's a colossal, 7.1. <laughs> pump the claw like that, and pumps out a bunch of water out the end like that. Yeah. That's what we call a floater. It'll, it'll have big flight. Then they're off to the restaurants and fish stores. Not cheap, but so great. We're at the source, so let's try them out at Moore's. All right, Mr. Moore, what size stone crabs you got today? 
Uh, today we're offering the house plate. Uh, it's okay. a pound and a quarter of stone crabs. It's a mixture of uh, medium and large claws. Okay, I have an order of that. All righty. Pound and a quarter. How many claws do you think I'll get about? Uh, seven to eight. All right, that's plenty. All right. That looks great. Stone crab, that's gator, right? That's right. Stone crab, gator, and your black and grouper sandwich. Mustard sauce? Right, that's our homemade okay. mustard sauce. What should I put on the grouper sandwich? Anything or just either like that? It don't need nothing. Okay. Yeah. And the same thing with the gator nuggets? Uh, cocktail sauce, maybe. Cocktail sauce. Where can I find that? Is it on the table? Right, right down here. All our condiments are right down here at the end of the counter. Okay, how about a beer? You thought I forgot about the boat. Ride, didn't you? <laughs> All righty, there we are. Thanks a lot. You sure enjoy it. Looking forward to it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Late at night when I'm drinking wine. We're done with the stone crab claws. It's time for a break, and then more gator. I think about the days when we was young I think about the days we used to run Welcome back to Food Nation. We're in Everglades City, Florida. We've had our stone crab club break. Guess it's time for some more alligator at the Ivy House restaurant in Everglades City. And what would you serve for dessert? For dessert? Gator pie? <laughs> Stick around, we'll have more after this. When the morning do Don't feel good beneath the skin Of your belly I could never feel Welcome back to Food Nation. We're in gator country, the Everglades of Florida. Okay, we've tasted gator nuggets and gator chowder. Also, some swamp cabbage, the freshest of fresh stone crabs, and great Florida grouper. A few more things about alligators. Watch where you step. <laughs> well, it's been a cool journey through the Florida Everglades, but you know what? I can smell that gator on the grill. So we gotta go. I'm Bobby Flay. Thanks for watching Food Nation. Remember, get out there and eat America. It's waiting for you. Hit it, Todd.